Another Connecticut resident has been arrested by the FBI in connection with the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us now from the digital desk with the latest developments, including how agents were able to track this person down. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning to you, Nicole. They tracked him down by his cell phone. Now take a look at this photo. You probably recognize the shaman on the left with the horn hat on. Well, right in the middle is 25-year-old Richard Crosby Jr. from Harwinton with the Make America Great Again hat on. He was arrested by federal agents yesterday morning. He told them he just wanted his voice to be heard. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for gracing us with this opportunity. These are the moments captured by the New Yorker magazine inside the Senate chamber on January 6th. It was just minutes after former Vice President Mike Pence was rushed out. Federal agents say 25-year-old Richard Crosby Jr. admitted this is him in the middle of it all. Agents say they tracked him down after they saw a video on YouTube where he identified himself as Rick C. and then gave his phone number out. Federal agents tracked the phone, found it was at the Capitol during the riots and went to the Crosby home in Connecticut to investigate. We went to their home in Harwinton, but his family had no comment for us. The arrest warrant shows Crosby told them he was there because he felt the election was stolen and that he wanted his voice to be heard. Mike Lawler, criminal justice professor at the University of New Haven, says his cooperation and his nonviolent role may result in a softer punishment. He seems to be uh, maybe not an enthusiastic cooperating witness, but he clearly is at this point cooperating. Crosby is facing a felony charge of obstructing justice of Congress. He is back home this morning after he was released. No bond needed to be posted. Professor Lawler says Crosby will likely plead guilty to something and be convicted of something, but more than likely he won't spend any time in prison. Live from the digital desk, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.